And I'm actually going to troll you with some very useful information by Alan Aragon, who is a published researcher into nutrition. But I want to project you a pyramid. The main layer is caloric deficit and realistic progress targets. However, he includes statements such as the more fat to lose, the greater the deficit can be and still preserve lean mass. Larger deficits, 20 to 30% below maintenance can be effective at the start of programs for obese. And, and so at the bottom of the pyramid, we have the most important underlying scientific principles of fat loss moving up with diminishing imp importance. We have sufficient daily protein with a meal pattern that fosters adherence. Again, the protein to preserve muscle mass when you're losing fat and that keyword of adherence, not this tribal approach. Then we have carbohydrate and fat intake tailored to individual preference. Again, with an emphasis on personal preference, since impact on body composition is primarily determined by protein and total calories. Do you prefer low carb? Perfectly fine. Keto, great. High carb, low fat, wonderful. Do you, as long as what you're doing can be sustained in the long term, as long as you're in that caloric deficit, you're eating quality nutrients, you can go low carb, you can carb cycle, you can do keto, whatever you feel, that is useful for you. Then linear versus non-linear weekly intake tailored to individual preference. And this is what Aragon says, non-linear caloric intake through the week has the potential advantage of increasing. And according to Aragon, who again is a published and well-read researcher, not a YouTube self-professed expert, does say when there are one or more higher calorie days per week, it gives the dieter a temporary break from the psychological and in some cases, physical fatigue of dieting. This in turn can bolster adherence. And so a common question that people have is, what if I don't have the same deficit each day or if my macronutrients slightly change each day? Again, don't overly concern yourself with the small short-term factors. Physiology is not that sensitive. Focus on the cumulative, longer-term fat loss goals. If you have a caloric goal, a deficit goal to lose fat over a period of time, focus on that. If you only lose one or 200 calories on a certain day because something happened, don't panic. And then supplementation as the smallest factor. There is no strong or consistent research evidence that a specific supplement will produce significant fat loss. You'd be better spending your time on other factors.